So this question looks like it may be a simplify question. So again, simplify questions are typically short, somewhere between one and three lines long, and will contain either an equation or like in this case, an expression. So this question says one of the factors of 2x cubed plus 14x squared plus 24x is x plus b, where b is a positive constant. What is one possible value of b? So here's where this simplify strategy comes into play, right? The question is a little bit weird, right? Um, maybe you've not seen questions worded in this way. But if we think about this from strictly a simplification standpoint, we could say, well, there is a GCF here. The GCF, or the greatest common factor, is 2x, right? Each of these terms are even, so 2 goes into all of them, and each of them have an x, so x goes into all of them. So if I factor out the GCF, I'd have 2x parentheses, x squared, right? Because I'm basically just saying, well, what would I need to multiply this 2x by in order to get that first term? Plus 7x, right? What would I multiply this 2x by to get that term? And then plus 12. So I have 7x, I'm sorry, 2x times x squared plus 7x plus 12. And then the question is, well, can I factor this even further? I have this uh, trinomial here. Are there two factors of 12? that add up to seven, right? That's what we typically initially look for when we're factoring a trinomial. And there are, right? Four times three is equal to 12, so those are factors of 12. And when I add them up, I get the seven middle term. So that tells me that the factorization of this trinomial will be, I still have the two x in front, but this x squared plus seven x plus 12 will turn into two binomials, which will be x plus four, and x plus 3. So there is my uh, fully factored form of the of this of the uh, expression <laughs> couldn't think of that word for some reason of the expression that was provided in the original question. Now the question says one of the factors is x plus b. Well I can see that yeah uh, b could be 4 right because that's technically an x plus b x plus 4. Also b could be 3 b could equal 3. Um, so then let's see what we do. So it could be either one of these things. The question does say what is one possible value. So I'm assuming that you could say 3 is the answer and you get full credit for it. Or you could say 4 is the answer and you'd also get full credit. Obviously you can't put both answers. So you just choose one and either one that you choose will be correct for this question.